what's up gi baby so today we're working with jesse's wigs and i'm just showing you guys what all came inside the wig and now let's get into this 13 by 4 highlighted hd wig and this is in 26 inches and i'm just showing you guys up close showing you guys the lace i did bleach the knots beforehand so i was just showing you guys the quality of the lace and how well the knots bleached so now i'm just positioning it on my head and i really love the way this unit is made it fits my head perfectly when i am getting my units i do have a medium cap so sometimes the medium cap some for some companies it doesn't fit me as well and i have to go and cut the sides and make it fit but for this unit in particular i didn't have to cut the sides or anything or customize it too much to the point where it it can fit snug ear to ear. It fit already right when I put it on. But when I'm doing my installs, I like to just take my hot comb and just push all the hair back before I do the glue. And I am using the Bomb Baby Lace Glue. And I'm still trying to see how I like this glue, y'all. Um, if y'all see another video coming soon, I go into detail about the different products I like to use. And I really don't know how I feel about this yet because it's like it works, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know. Like I'm still trying to get used to it. So I'm not gonna try to judge it too much. I'm gonna use it a couple more times and just see how it does. But overall, it's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's better than Erica J's glue. I would still personally choose this glue over that one. I would choose Erica J's glue over this one, but I'm just doing a big layer because I do be working out and stuff and I do want to make sure that I have enough glue on so it doesn't slip or anything. So I'm just, I typically, I like to do like two or three layers, but I think I only did two for this install, but I think next install, I'm gonna probably try to do a couple layers just to try to see where I can push this glue, like how much it will hold for real, but overall it's not that bad but as you guys can see i'm just doing my layers over and then i did go ahead and blow dry it on cool setting for a couple seconds normally i don't blow dry it but this time i did and i don't think i showed you guys when i blow dried it but i did blow dry it on a cool setting for this install Now I'm going in with my comb and I'm just pushing that lace into the lace adhesive so we can make sure that it stays. And I do like to go ahead and follow up with my hot comb as well before I add the lace band on. Now I'm just cutting off the lace. I would recommend using eyebrow 
razor or using any type of razor to cut off your lace. I do not recommend using scissors, but if you do have scissors and you don't have nothing else, I would recommend to cut in a zigzag type motion. But just getting an eyebrow pencil works, not eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow razor, it works so much better. And eyebrow razors are only like 99 cent, like a dollar. So it's not hard to find and it's easy to use. So make sure you guys get you an eyebrow razor if you are gonna be doing your installs because it just makes the process so much much easier but I'm just cutting off all of that lace and then for the parts that I did miss and I didn't put enough glue I'm just going back in and putting glue on there and I always say it's better to have to go back and put glue on there than to have too much glue because when you put too much glue on your forehead and stuff it's hard to clean up and it just messes up your install and your whole vision for how you wanted your hairstyle to go so just make sure you keep that in mind when you are working with lace glues And I am just going in with some even spray and it kind of got in my eye. I'm glad I didn't get all the way in my eye. I didn't even realize that happened. <laughs> but I'm just taking some even spray and just trying to melt that lace a little bit more before we start styling. But before I do that, I'm just going to try to get my part and stuff together before we actually lay it down for a second time. But I am blow drying it just to make sure that the glue is, well, the spray is drying and it is making that lace melt.
Now I'm just going in and plucking a little bit more on the opposite side because I feel like one side was plucked better than the other. So I just want them to look identical being that I am doing a middle part and I am doing baby hairs. So I want both of them to kind of look, you know, both give. I don't want one side to give more than the other. Although that always ends up happening, I am trying to make it as identical as possible. So don't be scared to pluck on your head. I actually prefer plucking on my head than plucking on the mannequin head. So um, as long as you like have your finger in place and don't be like too, too rough with it because you know you just freshly laid down your lace, you should be fine. <laughs> Now you guys, when it comes to perfecting a part, I feel like this is what I love to do the most. But I do have to get like a little, they have like little brushes that you can use to do this instead of using like what I'm using. But actually to make it more precise, I think I might just keep using it. This is just some eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. And I'm going in and just perfecting my part. But as you guys can see, the hair is brown and I'm using a black. So I'm just kind of like morphing it into the brown so it can kind of give that like ombre effect without actually looking like I actually did it. So if you guys ever work with brown hair, but like if you work with any other color, I wouldn't say try to do this. But if you're working with a color like this that has like kind of dark dimensions in it, you can get away with doing this, but any other color, I would suggest using the color of the hair. But with this, just using that little trick that I'm doing, like taking like a little elastic band or something and blending it in, that does help for like this color and perfecting your part. But I always like using liquid eyeliner to perfect my part. And then I go in with my concealer just to put it in the middle, just to get that part looking real good.
Now I'm just taking out these baby hairs because I did want to do some baby hairs for this look, but it's not going to be nothing too dramatic. I'm just doing three, well, no, I'm doing four baby hairs, two on each side, some sideburns, and then some baby hairs like kind of by the middle part. So I'm just taking all of that out and plucking it. You want to make sure that you do pluck out some of the hair that you take out if the hair is not already thin because you do not want no thick baby hairs. Sometimes when I be rushing, they be coming out thick, but lately I've been trying not to rush on my installs and actually like really make them really quality and really really cute because for every look that i do for now on i want it to be an actual look like something like real 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 cute y'all so just really take your time with it and it'll come out really really good but this is one thing that i really love to do and i used to do this all the time but like sometimes when i be rushing with my units like i skip this step but this step is very very crucial so you see me adding some even spray and ant and I almost stuttered. And I'm gonna add some holding spray to it as well. But I'm just like laying down my lace a little bit more. But you see, I sprayed it on the parts where I'm gonna have my baby hairs out at. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down so that when I take it off, I can only curl the parts that's like out and then my hair will already be kind of like positioned into place. So if I'm just doing some classic baby hairs like this, I kind of like to do this because most of the times I like my baby hairs to be like in place and not so fluffy. But when I do want to do baby hairs that's fluffy, I probably typically wouldn't do this for real or like I'll brush them out. But for the look that I'm going for today, this helps so much because it already positions your baby hairs down so that you don't have to like try to put them down with the gel and try to hold them in a place. So when I take the band off, as you guys can see, you see how the hair is already laying. Of course, I'm going to cut them down a little bit more, but now all I have to do is curl and then put the gel on it and it goes right into place. Now for my baby hairs, I love using the ORS wig grip gel. I love using that. Like this is the only thing I use. It's better than got to be. It's better than any gels, better than Gorilla Snot. I love this gel. I haven't used this gel as like a, like to put on a wig before, but I use it for my baby hairs and it does the trick. Like it does, like y'all see that? <laughs> like it's, it's so good. But the only tip that I can say for baby hairs, y'all, and I tried to like get like a close shot so you guys can actually really see what I'm doing. Only tip that I have for baby hairs is just keep, keep swooping them into place. That's why I have it in real time and I'm showing y'all me swooping them and swooping them and swooping them until I'm getting them how I want them. This is really what you got to do for baby hairs. Like it's really, you just got to play with them until you get it how you like it. So now y'all, this was like a couple days after and um, 
y'all see the hair was still looking really good all i had to do was just like brush it out i really didn't really do anything y'all like i was not feeling good for real after i did my hair so i just took a couple days just to like sit in the house and i had to go out once but i had just did some long curls real quick but it wasn't nothing like a hairstyle it was just something to look presentable out the house but i did know that i really wanted to do some crimps on this hair because the length and just everything like i knew like crimps was just gonna be the look for this hair especially because it's 26 inches and the color just like matched my vibe so well like i just love the way this color compliments me but what I do is I just spray holding spray on each section before I crimp and that helps them stay and helps them last like all day. So as you guys can see, I'm just, you know, spraying my hair and just using like the little crimping iron and you can find a crimping iron anywhere y'all you can find it on amazon you can find it at the beauty supply store you can find it at marshall's ross anywhere but i would say the conair one that i'm using it wasn't that much i forgot how much it was it was probably like 15 or 20 dollars and this works really good just take your time but crimping hair is not hard like i literally got through this like in a decent time probably like under 30 minutes i crimp my hair so yeah just spray each section and just go ahead and just do your crimps but i really really love these y'all and i love the way this hair responded to me crimping it because sometimes some hair don't be cooperating and it be looking crazy but this hair did the job and it made this look come to life
And as you guys can see, I'm done with these crimps and the makeup is eating like the whole look just came to life. So after I'm done, I just spray it with the holding spray one more time. And then I kind of like loosen them up a little bit, just a little bit, not really because I don't want the texture to leave. But like I kind of like run my fingers through it just a tad bit just so that um, I can fluff it out a little bit and it can look really cute. But I'm just showing you guys just some extra videos of me in the hair because I was really, really feeling this hair. Like it was just so cute. Like I just showed you guys, I'm showing you guys in a different setting. Like I just love the way this hair came out. Like I was feeling myself. Like if y'all seen the pictures on Instagram already, y'all yeah, know these pictures ate. Like this hair just ate. Like I really loved it. This is the final review for this hair. And I feel like it came out so, so cute. For like two days in a row, I didn't do nothing to this hair. I just had it in a bonnet. I was just chilling really hard, didn't do really nothing. And this hair still just held right back up. After I took out the bonnet, I just brushed it out. And when you brush your units out, you wanna brush it from the bottom up so you don't just like, just be tangling and unnecessary shedding and stuff. I know before I used to rate all of my hairstyles all the time, so I'm gonna rate this hairstyle and I'm gonna rate this company overall. I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10 because even when I bleached the knots and the knots bleached perfectly, and I would suggest Jesse's hair to anybody a beginner, somebody who just looking for some good quality hair and they just tired of using the same companies. Like this is actually, a good unit and the color is spot on the color is so freaking cute i feel like the color complements my skin tone a lot so i just really love this hair it's a 10 out of 10 for me okay a 10 out of 10 okay if you guys enjoyed this install and you have any more questions make sure you guys comment down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's youtube channel and turn those post notifications on so you can see what i post we are on the road to 200k so let's just go ahead and get us there Stay blessed. Yeah, babies, we out.